Good morning and welcome to the press conference of the film Walk Up, uh, which competes in the official section of the 17th edi 70th edition of the San Sebastian Film Festival. To talk about it, we've got the pleasure to have most of its team, so therefore let's introduce him. From the end, for example, we've got Monica Kin, who's going to help us with the simultaneous translation. And we have Kim Lee, the producer of the film, Song Su Mi, the actress, Ho Sang So, who you know, he doesn't need to be introduced. Cho Yun-hee, Yun an actress, and Kwon Hye Hyo, actor. So therefore, and as I imagine that there are questions, let's open up the floor to the first question. We already have someone with their hand up. Hi, I'm over here. <laughs> I would like to ask the actors how they got prepared for their roles and how they worked on the connections and the relationships between uh, one, uh, characters and other characters. the, the truth is nothing special really to prepare it because the truth is for me it was as if a journey in a new place as if I uh, journeyed with him so the, well, if anything new happened the truth is the key is to not prepare anything from before shooting <laughs> Perhaps the other actors can also add anything. Uh, the truth is the style of Hans uh, directing is different to other directors so that I, we never received the whole story or the whole script we only received only part of the script for that day so therefore for me it was if I lived on a day-to-day -day basis, so therefore we never knew what was going to happen on that same day. So therefore, each time that she receives information, she portrayed that way according to the script on the day. And that's it. Who wants to continue? Uh, 감독님이랑 작품을 하면서 점점 느끼는 거는 어, 배우 배우면서 또한 인간으로서 어, 우리가 사람으로서 가질 수 있는 어떤 욕심이나 그런 것들을 좀 벗어 던지고 약간 무의 개념으로 작업에 임 하게 하는 그런 현장을 만드는 그런 분위기인 것 같아요. 그래서 어, 할 때마다 조금 더 나를 갈고 닦는 듯한 느낌이고 좀더 진실에 다가갈 수 있는 작업인 것 같아서 그게 어, 배우 또는 
한 인간의 송선미라는 사람 입장에서는 저를 성숙시키고 성장할 수 있는 계기가 되는 작업인 것 같습니다. Search within herself, and then she grew as a person, as an actress as well. Tenemos una pregunta aquí en. Very well, we have a question in the third row. In the, yes, first in the third row, and then to the second row. Hi, uh, hi, Mr. Uh, Hong Sung Soo. There is a sentence in the film, spoken by the character of Mr. Kwan, where he says, "Money is the only standard to judge everyone." There is a moment where the character says this sentence. I keep thinking how much of this sentence reflects your own point of view concerning cinema, not only as an art, but also as an industry. And how much the indust current industry of Korean cinema can represent to you an obstacle or a form of freedom to express your own, and by the way, incredible form of, exp of seeing the world. Do you need translation to Korean or? No. Okay. Mm. Well, whatever came up during the writing, uh, it came to me like a, it is given to me. Not, it's not the result of something I am uh, searching for with the intention or purpose. So. Um, uh, some detail might uh, sound like reflecting my point of view about a certain uh, social things, but uh, I'm not writing something to say as if I have a certain uh, strong point of view about the social phenomena or the, like, a, for example, Korean film industry, whatever. <laughs> um, I just came up with this dialogue that um, feeling um, it suits that character, it suits the circumstances, and somehow feels right, then I accept it and film it. So, Yes, we have another question. Yes. Hi, hi, Mr. Josanzo. I'm a journalist from Peru, and I've always liked your films very much because the degree of intimism they have, how intimate they are. But in the last few films you're making, this aspect has been more accentuated, and now the stories are much closer to yourself and the day-to-day -day life. I would like you to talk a bit more about that aspect. In your last few, few films, that, that your last few films that you've been making, they're being much more intimate. Um, I, I don't know how much honesty is required to be a, a passable film director, but it's my inclination, natural inclination, I believe, try to be honest when I'm making film. Uh, maybe in the beginning of my uh, film making, I I was kind of a rebel. I wanted to break down something. So it dealt with uh, more of uh, my old stuff, so something from my adolescent, um, like early 20s, and like the, 
So it's, it's from me, it's very intimate with my life, but it com comes from far, far behind. And later on, I realized uh, as I have broken down something, some, I can't say, the, this uh, force barriers have built up during my life, inside my mind. And then I realized I, I began to uh, deal with the stuff that is more close to what I am doing, what I am feeling, what I deal with in everyday life these days. But um, that's how I feel. But um, I mentioned this uh, many times, but I never intend to make film which is autobiographical per se, but because I'm not, I'm not uh, shooting any scene which I, which I try to uh, replicate uh, what happened in my life. I use all these pieces coming to me, some from my, my, my life and some from what I heard or what I read. And um, so it's not really literal autobiographical stuff, but uh, since I have made these films and I have intended to honest, be honest, so it's in a way it's autobiographical. Muy bien. Sí, tenemos aquí otro. Ah, perdón, sí, sí. ¿Quieres traducción al castellano? Pero tenías traducción simultánea. Sí, estaba funcionando la traducción simultánea. Sí, sí. Eh, sí, 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 puedes. Sí, al inglés sí. No teníamos a coreano, pero al inglés sí. Puedes coger fuera, gracias. Eh, teníamos aquí, pregunta. Sí, yes, we have a question here. Hi, I would like to ask the director. Whether there's any layer, whatever minimum that layer may be, of the character of the leading actor, the director in the film, in yourself, is there any little layer of the main character in the film have something to do with you? Is there anything that's connected to you? A lot of things. <laughs> but it's a fragmented. It's not as a whole that I try to replicate as a whole. It comes from me, but from maybe my 20s, something from my recent days, and something also from other guys, what I heard, indirect, indirect experiences. So, so scattered fragments. So. Yes, we have on the third row, there's a question, there's another question. Uh, I was going to ask uh, actress Kim Min-hee, um, what was the biggest challenge or hurdle that she had to face while adapting to work as a production manager in this film compared to the usual uh, collaborations as an actress with Mr. Uh, Hong and other uh, directors and uh, does she have any aspirations to write films or uh, even direct in the future?음제제작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작작
굉장히 많이 보람을 느끼고 음, 항상 좀 같은 배우분들과 많이 작업하니까 배려도 많이 받고 그러면서 즐겁게 그렇게 촬영했습니다. That have uh, supported me and backed me, and it was a lot of fun on set when I was we were working. Teníamos ahí otra pregunta, por favor. Another question there. I have a question for Mr. Hong. One of the actresses in the film says to the director that she likes to drink while she looks at the films, at the director's films. Do you recommend that your films should be watched while people drink at the same time? <laughs> But I heard some people say that uh, they like watching my film alone, drinking at home. <laughs> so maybe that memory came to me when I wrote it. <laughs> no, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> But it's up to you. <laughs> sí, tenemos primero. Uh, yes, we have. After, yes, a question there, yes. Hi, thank you very much for the film. I'd like to ask Mr. Hong, uh, what are those, who, which of those three men in the film, the vegetarian, the one, the meat eater, the one that drinks, that doesn't drink, the father, which of these is more you? And also I'd like to ask the actress how she feels working always with a drink in your hand. Obviously, it's, it must, mustn't be easy. I think uh, all three are very close to my experience. Drinking vegetarian meat, whatever. Mm. As I said before, um, it's like uh, even though it came from very uh, close experience, like uh, happened to me like uh, two days ago. When I use it in the film, I feel like it's totally just, uh, it's not my stuff. It's something I, I have to deal with in making film. I feel that way. So Sometimes uh, I shot something uh, last April and I used many dialogues actually happened uh, during the uh, uh, staying together with actors. So some of them might think, might have thought that I was quite lazy. Just they thought my, they might have thought that I just copy what they said. But um, it's, That's not something. I, that's not how I feel about it. It's, it's, it can be very close now, uh, like uh, time-wise, uh, character-wise. But I feel it's uh, very appropriate 
as a uh, material for the feeling for me to use. It's kind of gradual change, as I said to your question. In the beginning of my filmmaking, the stop has to have some kind of far away feeling. But now something can happen to me yesterday, and then I can use that whole dialogue, but uh, I don't feel any obstacle using it. You know? Sí, había pregunta para la actriz también. Yes, there was a question for the actress. Could you repeat the question, please? For the actress? Yes, it was, please. How she felt working in a shoot all day long with a, a glass of a, a drink in your hand must be difficult. Mm. Well, at least there are less scenes where I'm drinking uh, something. And then, and, and something which was very soft, it wasn't a hard drink. I feel that even though I do drink a lot, but to not get too drunk, I can try not get drunk, I concentrate myself very much. Well, I act as if I was drunk, but that doesn't mean that I am drunk, because the truth is, because the same scene has to be shot again, so therefore I'm always very aware of what's going on. Other actors maybe drink water instead of any alcohol, no, but I do drink. I do drink alcohol on the scenes. Not too sure whether the actors want to add anything. Well, when I uh, act, I do need a bit of help of drinking a bit of alcohol because to portray being, uh, it's much better, it helps me much better to portray my role. And in this film, wine is drunk throughout the film, they drink wine all the time. In the last scene, the protagonist drinks soyu. I'm not too sure whether this is a coincidence or it means something. <laughs> Some people have not seen the film. <laughs> Let's not do a spoiler for the film then. Yes, there's another question. Um, well, I was going to ask if everybody was drunk all the time on set, but I got my answer already. So instead, I'm going to ask about the music. Um, how, how do you choose the music? And what's the importance of it when telling the story? Uh, I wrote the music, and uh, I wrote it maybe a few weeks ago, a few months ago, I don't know. I have this uh, kind of collection. I play with my guitar and small piano, so I uh, record it when I feel like it. So I have this collection of music, so when I edit, I just... Uh, scan through and then pick one music and feels right to the scene, then I use it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sí, Rod, tenemos aquí 
In the third row. Hi, Mr. Hanson, so again. Um, I have two questions, in fact. I would like to understand what black and white represents as a language to you, and from which classic films do you draw the inspiration to this, the kind of black and white you use in a film like this? The second question is, cinema has historically been very cruel towards relegating them to like a secondary place in relation to image. But in your films, you have taught your audiences that words also have a cinematic dimension, building narratives based on speech. But what's the challenge of creating narratives based on verbs, based on now, based on conversation? How much freedom do you give to improvisation on a set? How much do you rewrite the lines while shooting? Mm. Let me, uh, black and white, mm, I, I happen to like films from old days, so many of films I like are black and white. Maybe that's something that has something to do with my choosing black and white. But I was in the beginning of uh, time when I started using black and white, which was third film of my. So I was kind of being careful because uh, people already had this uh, feeling about playing as kind of artsy feeling that I didn't like. So, but the uh, third film, I really felt uh, it was a uh, winter season film and uh, I felt I wanted to use it black and white. So I, from then I started using black and white. I cannot analyze why I use black and white. And your question about this uh, dialogue. Um, image is important. Image is also important. It's, uh, it says uh, more than what words can ever describe. It's uh, while it is very important and I always try to capture a certain moment when this image speaks itself. Um, but um, conversation is also very interesting for me because it can deliver a lot in very condensed time, uh, what is it, time limit, and then can create the rhythm. And it can be humorous. It shows a lot of things in a, in a kind of a parallel progression. And it's fun to write a dialogue. So I don't know, I can analyze that again. It's, like it's, it's not my job to analyze, but just, yeah. Yes, we have another question. Hi. Hi, this is a question for the director, and it's related to the films and books that you see and you read, which form part of the preparation for the films, albeit they're not explicitly appear in the films. What books do you like? What authors do you like? What directors uh, do you like? Mm. Many, 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 many books I like. So, mm. I will just mention a few books I read. I usually have maybe 10 or 20 books opened up, uh, sitting on my table. So, you know what I mean, like a stack of books. So, and then, so I read a few pages of this book today, and maybe in the afternoon I read one page of this book, like that. So I all have this uh, 10 or 20 books all the time in, in front of me. It's a relaxation, entertainment, and stimulation, everything. And then once in a while I change the whole this stack and bring new books again in front of me. So it's like that's my relationship with books. You want me to mention the authors I like? Uh, because so many of them. 
um, in uh, I think it was a uh, uh, middle of my twenties I began reading uh, kind of seriously <laughs> if that expression is right and Andrejit and uh, Hemingway Sartre, Camus, all these people, you know, all these famous people. Uh, Nietzsche, Dostoevsky. Uh, and I scanned through all these people and then some of them stuck with me. And then many of them. But I also like books about weather, things like that. So many, many. Yes, we have another question there. Hi, I'd like to ask the director. There's a moment in which the character says, I've seen God, and that is when he is not afraid anymore. Is that autobiographical as well? Another phrase that she says is, that, I feel so well on my own when he's always surrounded by people. Um, I think uh, I will just uh, uh, answer to your uh, question but about first question. I will just say that uh, I think people should be religious. Uh, we need religion, not uh, established religion, things like that. Uh, if I'm using it correctly, the we need something else, not just alone. You know, we need something else to live through. In that sense, I believe we should be religious. Something absolute. Without it, it's very hard to go through. Um, you can meditate 10 years, but your ego always remains. Same. You need something else. Why? I don't know. So, I'm just so uh, mentioned this much, and then I go to next question. Was what was the uh, the being alone? Is uh, I think so uh, matter of temperament. I have that part too. I feel I need. Uh, a certain amount of time a day being alone quite necessary. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We have time for one a final question if anyone wants to ask, and if not, sorry, I didn't see you. Uh, I, I just would like, uh, are there any type of European films that inspire you? I think in particular of North European film drivers like Belgium or Scandinavia. Can you repeat it again? Yeah. Please. Are there any types of European films that inspire you? I think in particular Belgium, Scandinavian, or the new wave of cinema in North, in North Europe. Oh, like when I was uh, 25, 6, 7, I, that was the period I really scan through all these so-called important films and maybe I don't know exact number but maybe 50 films I chose as a, a representation of this uh, important line of progression I don't know. And, uh, but the important thing is you know uh, just uh, being beautiful whatever means whatever ways it doesn't matter it, the result is beautiful, that's, that's all I need to see. And, and many European directors from all days, yeah, many, many. I like them. Muy bien. Si no hay Very well. If the, one final question, okay, let, the last one. Because we, we have to leave. Sorry, again. <laughs> uh, 
I think everybody got surprised in the way you produce films. Uh, maybe in the end of this press conference, you will have another film ready to be shown. Uh, I would like to understand, how do you finance these films? How is the work in terms of production uh, that surrounds each of your films? Uh, are you the producer? Do you have a producing company? How does it work? My own company, I'm the producer, and I have tried to uh, minimize uh, all these uh, systems. So I, I have this, uh, Kim Mini is my uh, production manager, and I have another production, production person and myself, these three. And uh, sometimes we need uh, this, uh, what is boom person. So four, or sometimes three, because the production person now, she can do this boom too. So three or four. And uh, I give this uh, great actors very small amount of money. <laughs> 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 and uh, I should maybe uh, six times or seven, eight times for the film. And I don't use any uh, setup or I use all these natural things, or existing things. So cost is very, very low. So I can keep producing. Muy bien, pues esperemos que... Okay, let's hope you continue to produce and we can continue to see your films. I want to thank you for having to come to San Sebastián and good luck with the film. Thank you. Thank you.